Look at this one. It's got this really, really thick gold-plated teeth. I mean, just tons of them. I wanted to show you some vintage boards that came in and to give a little bit of tips, uh, I gotta thank my friend Mike for this. He's kind of helped me guide, uh, guide through it a little bit to start to recognize um, more valuable chips. Just like baseball cards or anything collectibles, there's people that collect rare and vintage chips, um, mainly Intel. And um, this is a ceramic chip. Doesn't have, let me see, where's the, there it is. It's a ceramic chip that doesn't have any gold top or anything like that, but it's a lowercase i logo, which is old Intel. And there's a lot of good resources online about what kind of chip number to look for, but you want to keep it on the board. Um, if it's in a socket, which this is not, this is soldered, it's mounted on there. Um, but it's best to just keep it on the board and, and sell it on the board uh, when, you're, when you're shopping around for buyers. Um, this is a one that he was helping me out with. Uh, these are not soldered, they're, they're on a socket. They're in really good shape. Uh, the board has some bent pins, uh, but it's got quite a few of this old vintage Intels that are highly collectible. And I've got my phone, I don't know if it's the right rotation, but I can kind of just scan down the bigger ones and then the smaller ones are actually what the ones he pointed out first um, that were highly collectible. And they have the, the gold top flashing on it or the plating. Um, sometimes they're not Intel. Um, they're Texas Instrument, less of a market for those, but you know, they just, they just don't make these chips anymore. And so we got a big old drop off and uh, I've been sorting through boards all day. We've got boxes upon boxes of, of vintage boards. Uh, someone obviously was either collecting or doing some repairs. Any brown board you see is gonna be um, low grade uh, when you just throw it into a Gaylord for, the, for your bulk buyers. But, um, you know, there are some collectors that collect some of these. I, I don't think there's anything too special on this brown board, but uh, look at this one. It's got this really, really thick gold-plated teeth. And just tons of them. And I think the camera's going in opposite. But um, I really like these and there's not any Intel really chips or anything that's too uh, valuable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heat it up with a, with a heat gun and uh, get all of these pins off. Uh, that'll be really good. Uh, we've gotten a lot of these. You can see I've just sort of taken off some really dull, thick gold fingers on some of these boards. There's tiny, there's not a whole lot on them. And then I've seen a lot of these. Uh, this is not a good example, this one is. It's like, it's got the gold um, tips or the gold, um, I guess they're called contact points, contacts um, in there. Really good teeth, gold teeth. This is not stuff that we depopulated for the board. It, it was in the collection. So we've just been going all through it. I, I thought this was really cool. Let's see, let's go up here where the camera is. This is really nice, flashy gold. It looks like it's a display. Uh, it can make digits, you know? really nice one uh, and we've just been these barrels let me go ahead and just show you a real life example of this oh this is really interesting it's got like it's this really heavy board this is like a 10 pound um packet right here i'm not quite sure what it is yet but i'm gonna take it apart this is nice gold nice dull gold here pins that i'll take off here's a good example of what i've been going for um what we'll do is we'll downgrade the board by taking off the gold, the dull gold fingers, and then it'll just go to, to, to low grade, which is, which is fine. We're really going after this dull gold um, for the next refine process that we have with, with our refiner. Um, so we wanna, we're only gonna do vintage. We're gonna try to get yield on just vintage um, boards. Here's another kind of old one that came through. Um, this has silver fingers we don't touch those we leave those on the board uh, so they'll either go for to mid to, to even high grade um, we yeah, look just just you know they don't make any of this stuff anymore and if anyone knows about these striped capacitors I'd love to learn more I don't think they have a whole lot of we really just we don't want to depopulate anything because that takes labor 
and unless it's just clearly full of gold, uh, we'll, we'll leave it on there. Um, since we get such bulk, it's a better price to fill up boxes and then use that, that uh, payment for the, the Gaylord box and then buy gold with that. And you can see on this one, this tiny, tiny little fingerboard, we've got just, I don't know, almost probably a hundred of these to go through. And then they've got these barrels, these little capacitor caps. Now the capacitor caps have a little tab, very, very small at the base. And when they're silver, that means that they don't have a gold plated bottom. But when the tabs are gold, so far it's been a 100% have had the gold bottoms and the teeth. So we've been, we've been pop, uh, depopulating some of those because I'm going to try to get um, a couple pounds of these. Just, uh, you know, usually it takes forever to you save up enough for 10 pounds, but um, I can't tell you how much we've gotten in to, uh, this week. Uh, we don't know the source. We don't ask any questions. Um, it just arrived and, uh, we're happy to have it. So, um, and then on the, on the foil teeth, there's such a brittle board that usually it's just, you, I mean, you can just kind of break it like that. And there's a little bit left on the board. And, and I do like to, since it is the, the old foil, I do like to get that. So it's pretty easy to process. Just listen to music, have fun. These boards I'm actually putting in, um, a pile that's up here, um, that's going to go to under the heat gun. This is a really nice one. These, uh, three prong, um, I really don't know what these are. It's a, it's a plastic, but they're gold plated on the back and the teeth are plated, but they're screwed down with a nut on the back. So I've kind of started going through it and it's taken a little bit more time than I want to. Um, but we're going to get this with a heat gun and, uh, and try to process these as well and try to get a yield on these. Um, I, I haven't seen them this on such an old board with such dull gold. I, I mean, I see these all the time for, for modern ones that are flashier. Um, and we're going to take the fingers off of that as well. Um, we've got a lot of these guys. They're Motorola. Um, again, don't know the name, but you see them on a lot of audio equipment. Maybe it's some kind of capacitor on it. Um, but it's got the gold plated screw and the two prongs. So we'll take that off as well. I just found this one as well. I'm going to push it to the way of the camera. And so it's Motorola as well. These are mounted. They're soldered on there. Not as valuable as the ones that aren't, but, um, Motorola is another uh, brand that sells pretty well in the chip world. So I wanted to point that out. And sometimes IBM as well. When you get vintage boards in, it's really tempting just to take off the gold stuff and you send it to your refiner, but sometimes getting to know what kind of chips are valuable and have collectors uh, value are going to be you know, well worth it. We've already got an offer for um, 2000 bucks for that board with the gold top. And that's just the, the first conversation I've had. So, um, you know, who knows what, what people are really willing to, to pay for it. And that's, that's a board that was going um, to be depopulated. Um, and just refined. So, you know, we got lucky there uh, with a friend of ours, Mike, stepping in and, and letting us know that there were something. So also, you know, we would have never known that that would be worth anything if it wasn't for uh, the communities uh, on Facebook and, um, you know, not just Facebook. There's there's ones on TikTok and Twitter and all kinds of social platform that, you know, you, you just, you knowledge share. And uh, I just posted a random uh, video of that uh, gold uh, capped board and I got so many messages on, Hey, don't, you know, don't destroy that. Uh, let me, let me help you out here. And, and, and a lot of people were willing to step in and, and educate me, so, which is great. All right. Happy refining.